the debt management office has issued a warning to the federal government against additional borrowing, citing that 73.5% of this year's budget will be used to service debt. And this high debt service to revenue ratio is unsustainable and poses a threat to debt sustainability. Stay with us as an analyst joins us this morning to discuss this on The Breakfast. Lagos State is ranked fourth worst city among 173 cities worldwide by the Economist Intelligence Unit. Is this an unfair assessment or a wake-up call? A travel and tourism entrepreneur will be my guest for the second hot topic on the breakfast this morning. We'll also be taking a look at the front pages of some national dailies as an analyst joins us for an in-depth analysis of some of the headlines. Good morning and welcome to The Breakfast. It is a Friday edition. Friday Flex, we'll call it. I am Maureen Menon Wizigwe. How are you doing? It's good to know that you are there. Today, we want to take a look at some very important things that concern you. But first, the theme of the day, finding ways to enjoy your life. It is Friday Flex edition, and on Friday Flex, we turn things down a bit. We try to find ways to relax. So how do you enjoy the life that you have? You only have one life. And so I think the first thing to do is by looking at your own cup and appreciating what it contains. Look at it as half full, not half empty. That's assuming you do not see it as full. If you do not see the cup you're looking at in your hand as full, try and look at it as half empty. Enjoy the life that you have. And then try and adopt a positive outlook to life. Be grateful, have a gratitude mentality. Appreciate the beauties around you. There are so many beauties. If you look, you will see. First of all, just looking at the flowers, looking at the different shades of green, and then those different beautiful colors of flowers. Those are some of the things you can do to appreciate the life you have and try to cultivate an attitude of having gardens around you. If you do not already do that or have that, you have to try. No matter how small your space is, you can always find a way to create flowers or have flowers or build flowers around you. Get flower pots. Um, nature, surround yourself with nature. I just can't emphasize that enough. There's so much beauty in nature enough to last us a lifetime. Every day you step out, you look through your windows, you see so much beauty is just smiling at you and saying, hello, good morning, beautiful. Take all of that in. It's one of the ways of enjoying the life that you have. You have one life to live. Live it to the fullest. All right, find out what makes you tick. That's another thing you can do to enjoy the life that you have. What is it about me that makes me tick? What are my strengths? What are those things about me that make me look good or feel good, that make people who come across me or who meet me uh, feel good about themselves? Yes, it's, it's key. Try to make sure that the people who meet you feel good about themselves when they are leaving you. Don't be the type of person that break people down, that bully people, because tr trust me, putting people down doesn't take you up. It only reveals your weakness. It only reveals your inadequacies. It only reveals your insecurities. But if you try to build people up, it is a way of appreciating yourself and appreciating the people and giving them reason and things to take away when they leave you. Go out and meet people. It's a very good way of living the life that you have. No man is an island. Uh, you may be an introvert, but no man is an island. There must be people. One good thing about introverts is even though they're not always out there, they choose carefully the people they mingle with, the people they relate with. 
and they choose when they talk and, and how they talk. It doesn't mean that they are boring or that they should be boring. So being an introvert doesn't mean you should be a recluse. Go out and meet people. Choose the kind of people that make you happy, the kind of people that you feel excited, you know, make you excited when you're in their midst, the kind of people that you learn from, the kind of, it doesn't have to be intellectual all the time, the kind of people that make you laugh, because you need to find reasons to laugh, reasons to smile. So the kind of people that when you're in their midst, they make you laugh, they make you smile. They help you not to take yourself too seriously, because that is one thing we sometimes do. We take ourselves too seriously sometimes, and when you do that, you find yourself thinking too much. Yeah, you think too much, and thinking too much, trust me, it's not something you want to add to your list of things to do in a day. We, we already are aware that um, high blood pressure is a thing today amongst people from 30-something years old to 40-something, 50-something, and overthinking is one of those things. Don't carry the world on your shoulders. And sometimes, sometimes things are not as serious as you think they are. So try and relax, try and calm down, you know, sometimes. And then do take a nap when you can. You should be able to take a nap every day. In fact, um, not just when you can, because if you wait for when you can, especially if you are the very busy type of person, you may never, ever have time to take a nap. But those who know, especially specialists in the health sector, have advice that we take time out, take a nap every day, even if it's one hour. It does a lot for you. In fact, there are countries where it's mandatory for you to take a nap. I think it's in China or so. You take a nap, or Japan, you take a nap in the place of work. Just have a corner where you retreat for one hour. Take a nap, relax your mind, relax your brain, wake up and continue. As I said, sometimes things are not as serious as we take them. It is the Friday Flex edition of The Breakfast, and we're talking about how to enjoy the life that you have. So ask yourself, how do you enjoy the life that you have? How have I been living my life, this life that I have? Have I been living my best life? It's not too late to start. Whether you're 50, 60, 30, 20, it's not too late to start. How have I been living the life that I have? Invest in yourself. And this is especially true for parents. <laughs> Sometimes parents, because of the love they have for their children, they spend so much on their children, pay so much attention on their children, they forget themselves. But trust me, if you break down because you do not take care of yourself, you'd rather take care of your children. If you break down, it won't be good for the children either. So strike a balance. As you're taking care of the children, take time to take care of yourself. Sometimes just go away. Go to a spa or go to the beach. Go alone. Just go take yourself to one restaurant alone and, and just sit there alone. Listen to some nice music from your phone or, you know, watch whatever you want on social media. Read them just all by yourself, you know. Enjoy yourself and take care of yourself and then try and exercise. Because I have found, even without the advice of experts, that when you exercise, uh, you feel good. You feel proud of yourself. Especially if you're not disciplined, as I am, when it comes to exercising. So those days and times when you do exercise, when you eventually exercise, you feel so proud of yourself. You feel so good that, yes, I did it today. I did it yesterday. Perhaps I can do it tomorrow. So try and exercise. It helps you to relax. And some very good hormones are released when you do exercise. That feel-good hormone they talk about, it just comes out from within naturally because you're exercising. And of course, I don't need to tell you the health, benefit of, the health benefits of exercising, especially when you've clocked 40. You know, so those organs in your body that naturally, you know, just do their thing and, and just move and act. And when you get to 40, exercising helps them because when you get to 40, things begin to slow down a little bit. So when you exercise, you are helping those organs to function better to function as if you were in your 20s. 
that's one of the things that exercise does for you. So do not joke about it. Do not joke about it. It is the Friday Flex edition of The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. And so we'll take a break right now to come back and give you the weather report. Stay with us. <laughs> 